Using play preps is usually the go-to quick and easy saving method in Unity, but this approach has some drawbacks, like players being able to easily edit the text files and an inability to save arrays or lists. The approach I'll be showing you is a solution for both these drawbacks, providing custom serialized save files that can input arrays and lists. The project files will be uploaded onto GitHub, so be sure to check that out in the description below, and let's jump straight into it. For my scene setup, I've got a few buttons, one for gaining experience, another for gaining a random item, and the last to clear save data. I've also set up a bare minimum inventory and experience display. The experience is just text displaying the total amount, and the inventory is three slots with a script attached to it named inventory slot. This will simply hold a few variables so we can save the data in it and change its sprite. It'll hold a is full bool, integer for carried item ID, and a reference for the image component. We'll assign new functions to these later. Create a new script named Save Manager. Within this script, we need to add some new namespaces. The first being system.io, system.runtime.serialization, and the last being system.runtime.serialization.formatters.binary. Now we're going to set up a new class within this script named Save Data. This will hold all our variables which will be saved and serialized later. Make sure to add a system.serializable attribute to this class, otherwise it will not function. I'll just define an integer named experience and a list of integers named inventory. I'll move down now and create two new references, one to our static save manager, which will act as a singleton we can call from any other script, and one from our new save data class. Within the awake method, we'll just set up our new singleton reference to this and call the load function. And within another named on application quit, which will run whenever we close the application. For now, we'll just call a new method named save. These methods are as follows. The save method will use a new file stream to attempt to create a new save file or attempt to open and edit the old one, thus setting the file mode to open or create. I've just set it to save within our default persistent data path, which will be different depending on your system or Unity settings. And I've just named it player.dat. Now we'll try to format our save data variables within the scene and serialize it into a new file. If there is an error, we can catch this and log the error. Otherwise, we can finally close the file, which otherwise it will be corrupted. Onto the load method now, we'll attempt to open and deserialize the file and set the save manager's save data as this. First up, we'll check if the save file exists within our save location by the name we've set. If so, we'll attempt to create a new file stream and try to open that file using file mode.open. I've added a check in case the file is empty by checking its length. If so, I'll dispose and delete the empty file. If it isn't empty, we'll attempt to try and deserialize the dat file type and set our player data as the file information. Again, we'll attempt to catch a bug and finally close the file. And that's all for saving and loading. I'll now show you a practical application I've set up which involves saving an inventory list and experience integer. I've created a simple player script. Inside this script, it holds references to all my UI elements, such as the inventory slots, buttons, and a list of sprites, which will be our placeholder item list. I've also set functions of the buttons in my awake, a start method which initiates the loading of our save manager data, a simple add experience method which edits the player save data in our save manager and updates the UI accordingly, a load data method which will use the inventory list data from our save manager and spawn our saved items within our inventory and update our experience text. Also a save inventory method which will just cycle through our inventory slots and add the item ID saved in the slot if it is full and set our inventory list within the save manager as following. A spawn item script which cycles through our inventory slots and find one that is not full and sets the sprite and item ID of it if an available slot is found. A give random item script which will just randomly choose an item from the item list to spawn and finally our clear data method, which cycles through our inventory slots, removes the items and resets our save data within the save manager. And that's everything for our player script. Going back into my save manager script now, I'll just quickly make a small reference to my player and call the save inventory script when we close our game. This will do for now and will make everything perfect. That's all for the system. Make sure to assign all the variables, which I'll go through individually. I've created two new game objects, one named Save Manager, which will hold all our Save Manager script, and another named Player, holding our player script. I've gone through and linked up all the UI elements, such as our buttons, slots, and experience text, as well as set some random sprites as our items, which are from gameicons.net. That's all for the tutorial. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please subscribe and like the video. 
You can find me on my Discord server and other social media to support my content. Thanks again.